hello guys welcome back to knitting catalog i'm happy to be in your space today again please subscribe and if you are just coming by my channel today i want you as well to subscribe let's enjoy knitting together so today i'm going to share with you how to knit sleep pattern on knitting machine with your punch card so earlier on i've already shared how to knit tox pattern with punch card so it's just like opposite of tox patterns sleep pattern is like opposite of tox pattern they are just sharing some things in common but in slip stitches the stitches were just drop and it formed a loop down to the next selected needle now i've already knit few rows and the same card i use for my tox pattern is the same card i want to use so that you can check the difference of these slip stitches and tox together with what we have in the last video so right now what you need to do is so similar to the tox so you are going to like fix your card your punch card set it to one and you pin it for continuous knitting if you want to you use clip to pin it to for continuous knitting and i've already put it on hold on i don't want this card to move for now until my machine get that information of knitting punch card so right now my carriage is already on left side you know when you want to knit punch card you have to make your carriage in broader in broader knitting machine you have to make your carriage to be at the left side then i'm going to go a straight away and give my carriage information i want to knit punch card so i'm going to go one row right now so you can see the needle is being selected according to the pattern on the punch card remember i told you i'm using the same card for the talks so that we can compare the differences so right now i'm going to open up my card to middle that middle is knitting a sad size that i have in my punch card if i go to the back that is i'm knitting more than i'm knitting times two of what i have in the card so right now i've already put it at the middle knitting a sad row that i have in the card so after doing this i'm going to go straight away to these two buttons that i'm having here so these two buttons is meant to do sleep pattern so i'm going to press the two together and start knitting so as i'm knitting you will see what is happening to my stitches as i'm moving so right now let's go and see what is going to happen so that's my row one two So you can see right here, you can see a loop. You can see a loop from this needle, go ahead to this needle to knit. So that's how slip stitches work. You can see, you can see a, a stretchy yarn going from one needle to another. In case of tox, it will hang over your needle. But slip stitches is going to be giving it a long loop down to the selected needle. So let me continue and see what we have at the end of few rows that I will need right now. After 
knitting several rows this is what i got after using my punch card to knit slip slips pattern of my punch card this is what i got so very beautiful and you can see how the loops connect to each other to bring out the pattern we have in our punch card so guys the wrong side become your public side so you are going to use your wrong side this side that is at the back as your front side so and it's not going to be stretchy i'm going to knit a little bit of tox pattern right now just to check how they look to compare the look to each other with just this the same card so let me just do that right now and let's see what we are going to see that is going to be different from each other so guys i've knitted the two as a single piece right now for us to compare how they look so you can see up there this is tox pattern and you can see the width how stretchy the width is and it's very wide so and down part of it is the slipped pattern and you can see the edge as well so narrow it's not like stretchy you can see it's not stretchy at all but this one is a little a little bit wider than slip stitches and you can see how the loops connect to each other to form this pattern and in this case you can see the way the loops are weaved together on tox pattern to form the same pattern on the punch card so guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and i want you to do one thing for me for the first time please i'm begging you for the first time you have to tell me which one do you like comment below let's share this experience together so i want to know which one do you prefer is it slip pattern or tox pattern for any of your projects so guys we have come to the end of this video so i want you to subscribe you know i will beg you for that you have to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed inform your friends inform your family let them get to know that something is happening on my channel and please i beg you before you have to comment on this issue which one do you prefer thank you very much thumb ups guys give me thumb up on my video see you next time happy knitting bye